Good morning to you, Kentucky and Louisville renew their rivalry on the baseball diamond later this evening. It was the Cardinals who ended the Wildcats season last year, beating them in the Louisville Regional of the NCAA Tournament. While that game may have added some fire to the rivalry between the two programs, it's all good after all, and it helps draw attention to the sport. Most of our kids know most of their kids. Um, we're very familiar with, with each other, you know, in the recruiting trail. We're, we're going head to head on so many players, so you know, fall scrimmage, regular season, spring game, or the postseason. I mean, I think, I think it's all. Uh, I think it's fun. I think it's exciting. I think it's great for college baseball. And um, I think it'll be the same as other games. Just I think the rivalry is more for the fans. You know, obviously they're in state. They're in, they are in state rivals, and they're a good team. And we're just going out to play a good team. The world's best golfers gathering this week in Augusta for the 79th edition of the Masters Tournament. Here we go. The tournament tees off tomorrow in Augusta, Georgia morning. And among this year's participating participants are Tiger Woods, who has not played on the PGA Tour since February, and last year's champion, Adam Scott. Both met with the media Tuesday about being back on the course for this year's first major championship. Coming back this year, of course, all the good memories still keep coming back and uh, slightly less responsibility this year and enjoy all the perks of being a former champion and then focus on Thursday. I refuse to go on and read what y'all write, good or bad, whether you're uh, friends of mine or not. Um, just choose not, not to go down that road because I, I come to the understanding is that I, I live it. I, I know exactly what I'm doing out here and I've, I've hit the shots and I don't really need someone else's second hand opinion of what I was thinking of. I know exactly what I was doing out there. Going into last night's national title game, the UConn women could lose by 192 points and still set the Division I mark for largest scoring margin in a season. Yeah, sit on that for a second. The Huskies outscoring opponents by an average of 40 points per game. UConn, Notre Dame, championship time. Only the second time that the same two teams have met in back-to-back -back title games. Uh, last time it, that happened was UConn and Tennessee back in 2003-2004. First half, tied game. That's Michaela Mabry. Three-point lead, Notre Dame. Huskies answer, though, Mariah Jefferson. 15 for Jefferson on the night. UConn now up three. Look at the cut here by Kalina Mosqueda lewis She usually shoots a lot of threes there. She's underneath. UConn by five. Notre Dame now down six. Jewel Loy. She averages 20. Puts a bucket in there, but uh, the Huskies just too much. Connecticut wins its 10th national title and third in a row, 63-53. to That's the 10th national championship uh, in the school's history. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.